Hi everyone, my name is Jill Wood. I've been a poultry leader with the Douglas Staffordshire Marshfield 4-H Club for about 13 years now. And today I'm going to talk to you about preparing your birds for show. Um, so there's a few things you want to have ready before you even bring a bird out of its housing. And it's really great if you can have a little show kit put together. And these are some of the things that would be in my show kit. Um, I've got uh, some rubbing alcohol. I've got a bottle of glycerin. I've got some laundry bluing. Baby oil. A set of toenail clippers. Tweezers. Um, soap, this is uh, just livestock soap. Um, I've got sort of a felt glove here that I use for putting the baby oil on, and an old toothbrush. Uh, a lot of people have a nice little tackle box or something like that to keep their show supplies in. The other thing that you want to have ready is uh, three buckets, maybe four, I like four um, buckets of clean, warm water. We're not trying to uh, shock the poultry with cold water. We're fortunate enough to have a room where we can do this in our barn, a, a wash rack. Um, but doing this outside on a sunny day is a great way um, to do this without making a huge mess if you're not as lucky as we are to have a room uh, like this on your property. The other thing um, is to have yourself ready. Uh, you should be dressed in clothes that you aren't worried about getting wet and dirty because I can guarantee you will get a little wet and dirty. Uh, the birds usually do a little bit of flapping and, and, and shake some water around when you're giving them a bath. So once you have all your supplies ready and yourself ready, then you can go and get your chicken that your chick or chickens that you're prepping for the show and get started. So I've got a golden ice Wyandotte hen here who's going to model for us as we do this prepping video. I like to start sitting down with the bird and giving the birds a bath is not only helpful for getting them ready for a show, but it really gives you a chance to see the bird up close and to notice if there's any problems, if they've got any small wounds that you didn't notice, or if they've got mites you didn't know about. Um, so it's an excellent chance to look the bird over really closely. I usually start um, with their toenails, and I like to give those a little trim. Her feet are really dirty, and so this might be something you would choose to do after the bath, it doesn't really matter. Um, it is possible to trim their toes too short, so do be careful. Um, but don't panic if you do make them bleed. Um, just apply a little pressure um, with clean towel or even your finger. And uh, the trick is to not peek too soon. <laughs> if you uh, keep pulling your towel away, after only a few seconds you're pulling the clot off and you're starting over again. So leave it on there for a good two minutes without peeking and it should be fine. And ideally, you just don't cut them too short and then you don't have to worry about it. Um, so you can see, of course, she doesn't mind this. Um, it's just like yourself getting your fingernails cut. Doesn't hurt. And hers are pretty long. It's April and haven't had a show to get ready for in a while. So once you've got that done, um, then this is a breed that can sometimes have little feathers growing between their toes and they're not supposed to. They're not a feather laid breed. Um, so that's where my tiny tweezers come in. You can use those to remove any of these teeny feathers here. Um, judges will look carefully for that sort of thing and it is a disqualification. It's okay to remove things usually when you're getting ready for a show. So if she had a big twisted broken feather here, it would be okay for me to pull that off. It's generally accepted that um, people will remove these, these little foot feathers as well. Um, but there are things that you can't do when you're prepping for a show that would be considered cheating. If you had um, a white bird that had a dark feather, maybe it had a brown feather, um, it would not be okay to paint that feather white. You would remove it, but you wouldn't paint it. Basically, adding things to the bird is a no-no. Taking away is generally acceptable. There is one exception to that, and that would be if your bird had something called vulture hawk, um, and you tried to hide that by removing a large number of feathers, 
that would be considered cheating. So you have to be a little careful what you're doing when you're prepping that you're not breaking any rules. The small toothbrush is great for scrubbing their feet uh, and their legs and also doing their combs. So we will start with our first bucket. Is our bucket where we're going to use some soap. And so it's really important, obviously, to make the bird as comfortable as you can. So nice warm water. And get a hold of their... So you get them in and uh, try to hold their wings so that they don't make a giant mess. And it's really important to keep their head out of the water, obviously. We don't want to make anybody sick by having them inhale soapy water. Um, so I just like to use one hand to hold the bird and the other hand to get some soap on there. And then rub it in all through. I like to pay special attention to under their tail, around their vent area, obviously is a dirtier spot. And I like to pay special attention to their feet. And so once you get that all really scrubbed, and then okay, the toothbrush, I like to use the toothbrush on my feet. I'll often hang on to the side of the bucket for you while you scrub their toes. And I can already see a couple of little feathers there that I missed. So I can go back and get those. And once you're satisfied that you've got her pretty clean, and you're gonna rinse her off in the next bucket of warm, clear water. You certainly can just use your hands to scrub if they had any dirt on their faces. And then the last bucket for a second rinse. When you're doing more than one bird, your rinse water will start to get pretty dirty, and that's why it's nice sometimes to have an extra bucket. The extra bucket's also great if you're cleaning white birds. Her down. Um, that's fourth bucket is where you would probably add this laundry bluing and laundry bluing will actually make white things look whiter so it's safe it's not bleach it's totally different um, you have to be careful not to use too much if you use too much your bird will blow purple <laughs> and we don't want that um, like a half a cat full in a bucket that size would be appropriate um, but we don't need to use that today because we don't have a white bird um, so I've got a second bird here that uh, is dry that I want to show you the things you would do after you would bathe the bird and it was totally dry. And it's important to mention that you probably should be bathing the birds at least two days before the show. It does give them a chance to completely dry. It gives them a chance to have some of the natural oils in their skin um, spread back over their feathers again, uh, make them look healthy and shiny. If you happen to have procrastinated and you didn't get it done two days ahead of time. Um, you can blow dry birds on a low setting, obviously. Um, if it's too hot, you're gonna harm the birds and we don't want that. So um, on a low setting, it, you can blow dry them. Especially if certain breeds like silkies, you're pretty much always gonna wanna blow dry them because it just makes their um, nice poofy feathers look their best. The reason I took this bird out is also, I wanna show you some of the things you would do. <laughs> right as you're putting the birds into their cages at the show. So that's where our baby oil will come in. And I like this felt glove because it absorbs the oil a little bit and you just need a small bit on there. And you can put it right on your hand. And then um, if you smooth that over their feathers, and you don't want too much because you don't want your chicken will look greasy, but it really makes um, their color pop and makes them, when they've got these dark feathers that reflect light well, uh, really just makes them beautiful and shiny. So that's one thing you can do. Um, the other thing is uh, the rubbing alcohol, just a drop of that on their comb and waddles can make them look extra red but the other thing we know, of course, about rubbing alcohol, especially these days, if you've been using lots of hand sanitizer, um, 
during the pandemic, um, you'll know that um, rubbing alcohol can be quite drying. So that's where the glycerin comes in. Um, if you only put the alcohol on, it's gonna make their comb all dry. And we don't want that. So we put a little bit of glycerin on and that again, gives it a little shine and it protects their um, comb or bottles from getting dry from the alcohol. And it just gives an extra little shine. And then all of this stuff you want to use minimally. You don't want um, the judge to touch the bird and, and think that it was greasy or sticky or anything. So that is some of the things you could do right at the end when the birds are going into the cage to get them looking their, their best. These are all things that you can buy very easily at at a pharmacy, at any pharmacy, the toothbrush, the nail clippers, the, the tweezers, the glycerin, none of it's expensive. The only thing that's a little hard to come by is the bluing. Um, I had to order that on Amazon. It's not something people use a lot for their laundry anymore. It's not as easy to get as it once was, but you, you, you can order it on Amazon. If you have any questions after watching this video, um, please feel free to reach out to Jackie at the 4-H office and she can forward any of your questions to me. Thanks. Getting ducks ready for a show is um, quite different. It's much simpler. Ducks will keep themselves really clean if they're provided with fresh water to swim in. We are lucky enough to have a tub in our house that we don't use a whole lot, and so I will often just fill that up to let the ducks swim in. My female has been playing in a mud puddle today, so don't judge me, she is completely filthy. But you'd be amazed how clean she'll look after she has a swim in this nice fresh water which has the laundry bluing um, added to it. Uh, since these are white birds, it, it helps a lot with that. The other thing that you can do with waterfowl that can be helpful is uh, once they're just about dry, if you were to run some cornmeal through their feathers, that can really help uh, draw out some dirt and little particles uh, from their feathers and give them an extra um, cleaning. So that's something you can pick up at the grocery store and can be helpful in getting waterfowl ready. So you can see the really big difference here after only about 15 minutes. I did help a little bit, uh, the stuff on her back uh, that was really thick. Uh, I used the toothbrush uh, to scrape a little of that off for her, but uh, big difference in just a short time of being allowed to swim in some clean water. So we got ducks, not too hard to get ready.